The founder of psychology and the very first psychologist was Wilhelm Wundt. He was born in Germany in 1832. Wundt was a doctor of physiology with an interest in neurology. His interest in how the brain's structures function eventually led him to his work in psychology. Wundt did not think that an understanding of the physical workings of the brain allowed for a complete understanding. Without also understanding the way the mind thinks, Wundt thought that one would never have a complete understanding of the human brain. Since he wasn't a therapist, but rather a scientist, he wanted to study these processes in a controlled, objective laboratory setting. Wundt opened the first laboratory of its kind at the university at Leipzig in 1879. There were no Bunsen burners, microscopes, or test tubes within the lab. For the first time, it was people's reactions that were being studied and measured quantitatively. Wundt and his students created experiments where they would examine subjects under controlled conditions. His theory was that with careful observation, one could break down the structure of thought into its component parts, hence the term structuralism. Under these controlled conditions, highly skilled clinicians would observe a subject reacting to stimuli, and they believed that these recorded observations would tell them more about how the mind works. Funk thought it was important to separate and study each stage of this process without interfering with the greater whole. Wundt applied the same scientific methods that he used in his work in physiology studying human behavior. He set a precedent for clinical laboratory work in psychology. He helped establish scientific experimental procedures within the budding field of psychological research. William James was a man who considered himself primarily a philosopher and was skeptical of the science of psychology. In 1875, he taught one of Harvard's first courses in psychology and was instrumental in establishing Harvard's psychology department. He is known as the father of American psychology. James's theories were based on Darwin's theory of evolution. This involved the idea that certain traits have been naturally selected to ensure survival. James also thought that our emotions and behaviors were selected for similar reasons. James was quoted as saying, since these functions are naturally selected, it's the job of psychologists to discover how our survival depends on these functions, hence the term functionalism. So, if his theory is correct, perhaps a person who is jealous may feel that way to ensure that they get the spoils of victory. Maybe jealousy is supposed to push you to go after what others have. Maybe wanting what others have will ensure your own survival. If William James was right, and this does go all the way back to the beginning, to where Darwin says it all started, then maybe, when we feel emotions like envy or jealousy, we don't have to feel so bad.